Actually, I'm glad you called, Mr. Stone. I decided not to testify. I'll plead to the prostitution charge. I'm sorry. I, I really am. I know you were counting on my testimony, but Laura Winthrop's been good to me. Well, that's not why we're here. It's not. Why? The blood sample that was taken, it became part of a blind test. What kind of test? An AIDS test? They did an HIV test? Yes. No. No, I, I was tested two months ago. All positives are double checked. Got her nailed on the prostitution charge. It's the other charges that are gonna put her behind bars. As my dad always used to say, unless you're holding a full house, Jack's higher better. Call, don't raise. Your dad was a philosopher. Jolene and Cookie, I'm still in the game. Sounds like a low pair to me. Your wife has been an invalid for 14 years, is that correct? Yes. During that time, have you had any occasion to use the services of prostitutes? Yes. How many? Maybe 2,000. Have you ever used the same woman twice? Not often. Most of the girls weren't worth using once, let alone twice. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jolene Curtis? Jolene. I used her whenever she was available. She's very, very good at what she does. What does she do? Oh, she gets you very, very excited. Whatever she does, is it hard on the heart? She's hard on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hamilton, can you tell me about the whipping incident? What I did at Ms. Winthrop's establishment didn't exactly involve any whipping. But it wasn't a whip in the room? Was anyone holding the whip? I'm sorry, Mr. Hamilton, I can't hear you. Would you please speak up? The young woman was holding the whip. I don't recall her name. Your witness. I know how awkward, how embarrassing this situation must be for you. But I wondered if you would mind elaborating on your visit to Miss Winthrop's service. With the young woman about the whip. She only used it to dress up. Playing make-believe? Helping to alleviate the perfectly understandable ennui that comes after so many years of marriage. They're buying it. Yep. Jasmine had to check with Winthrop whenever there were problems with the clients. These clients, were they generally healthy or not? Sure, the service had clients who weren't in the best of health. Men with bad hearts, like Mr. Diamond? I don't know about Mr. Diamond's heart. Did any other of her clients have bad hearts? Look, the hearts, that's not the part of their anatomy the girls were most involved with. <laughs> Answer the question, Mr. Molina. A lot of the guys I drive, I heard them complaining to the girls about their wives, their work. They're a tense breed. 
workaholics. What was Miss Winthrop's attitude toward him? I never met Miss Winthrop. I know, but you must have overheard some conversation she'd had about them. Yeah, with Jasmine. They were in the coffee shop near the service. They didn't see me. They were joking about the hard-driving Johns. And what was her attitude? Objection, supposition on the part of the witness. He has no idea what Ms. Winthrop had in mind. I'll rephrase the question. Can you tell me exactly what Miss Winthrop said? Oh, yeah. It stuck in my mind. She said, a deuce, that's a two-hour session. We'll either kill him or cure him. And I don't care which, as long as their gold cards are still good. Your Honor, this man is despicable. He's made a deal to walk. Yeah, but it didn't affect my memory. <laughs>